Cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed shall I be in the city. The Lord said you're going to be cursed in the city, and you're going to be cursed in the field. Your brother, come to the world of God, you're living in the end times. You're prepared to leave the world. No one proves that the heavenly father. See, everyone says they're good, especially our people. Right, and to death and destruction comes, man. To all manner of people come to this place, man, that world will free. Right? Cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed shall I be in the field. Right? Cursed shall I be in the field. And Right, right, I'll 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 right, I'
Deuteronomy 7 verse 6 For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God mm. The Lord thy God have chosen thee To be a special people unto himself right. Above all people that so are upon the, the face of the earth The Lord said the children of Israel Are above all people that are upon the face of the whole earth right? The so called black Hispanics and Arab Americans Are the Israelites They are meant to be in Israel And they were sent out For uh, 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 disobedience to the Most High Let's get this on the Hold on, you're speaking to the word of God, Hold on. See that? Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. Come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. Blessing and the curse. Blessing and the um, curse which I have set for thee, and thou shalt call them to man. Among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Mm -hmm. right? Anyone believe in God? Is anyone got two minutes for the word of God? Has God ever given the word of God? Is that what you're saying? And look at that. Look at that. Someone's got a Palestinian flag on their car. Big Palestinian flag. Hey, you could have made this up. Hey, the world's coming to an end, man. World War is on the way. Whether you like it, accept it, believe it or not. Right? All your food's going to be run out. Right? All your money's going to be run out. Your phone's not going to work. Cyber attacks, right? <laughs> he doesn't like that. Go on. And shall return unto the Lord thy God and shall obey the voice according to all that I command thee this day. Right? And this word is dreadful to the heathen, man. They hate the words of God, right? It does something to their spirit. Right? Come on. And thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, right? that then the Lord thy God will turn. No, brother, come in the way of God, brother, two minutes. You'd rather run the road and risk being knocked down than to hear the words of God. Right? And even our young princesses with the race. Right? This is for her, this is her book, man. Right. The Bible's a history book. 
but she got a heathen mother walking her way. Huh? And we're gonna say the truth, man. We're gonna be like that it's and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord thy God have scattered thee any of thine be driven out of the heart of the heart take a plow, take a plow come, come, come come on the history book of the black man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Which it is? Which it is? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, this. Yes, sir. It's time to wake up and pop those summer finish, man. You can't help you. Pop those summer, I can't help you. You can't help you. Come on. If any time. She want to smile when I bring up hot girl summer. That can't help you. When a bomb's gonna drop, that can't help you. A woman needs to cover up, dress uh, and modestly, and serve the most high in truth and sincerity, right? According to the words of God, because we're living in the last days, World War III is on the way, coronavirus is coming back, all manner of evil is coming to this place, and except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. We don't get it. Any of thy have been driven out onto the outmost parts of the heaven. And we all driven out onto the outmost parts of the heaven, right? Come on. From thence will the Lord thy God gather thee and the And from thence will he fetch thee, and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. The Lord said he will do us good and multiply us above our fathers. But if we listen to the word of God, we will keep the commandments. Not us, we didn't know. He broke them, and that's what he sent into the spaceship until we destroyed, right, for lack of knowledge. Right? And so an elder women don't want to teach the younger women, and elder men don't want to teach the younger men. Right? All these curses happen to our people because of disobedience man, to their Heavenly Father ultimately. Come on. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. Right? And the Lord said he's going to do us good and multiply us above our fathers. Right? Come on. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed right. to love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul right. that thou mayest live. So the Lord's going to gather us. This is a, a, a one of the first accounts of the Lord showing us that he will break the commandment. He's going to gather us back and circumcise our heart. He's going to give us a new heart. Come on. And the Lord thy God will put all his curses upon thine enemies. Right. And hey, that's what's going to happen in, 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 in the end days. The curses are coming are going to come upon our enemies. I believe the brothers got a, 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 a movie that says curses on us now, curses on you later. Yeah, what did it say? Curses on us now, curses on you later. Yeah, the curses are going to come on these people. The ones that benefit of the slave ship. The ones that kill people in the streets and guns. Right? The devil, the Bible speaks about, who can't to the sun. Right? Come on. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon their enemies. And right? The Lord's going to put all these curses upon our enemies. Like not being able to look at the sun, that Right, what's it? SP? 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 I don't even know the name, right? Come on. What else? Um, I don't know the name. No, read it, read it. What else? And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. Oh. And on them that hate thee. And on them that hate thee. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe you've got the scripture that's reading it, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll pray to the most high, right? So that's the spirit. I thought it was another scripture, but read it. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I Command you to stay. Let me get Leviticus 13 for the sister with blonde hair. Right? Sister! Sister with a blonde hair! You know that's a curse that I've blonde in the head. You know that's leprosy, sister. Come up, come up, come up. Read it, read it, bro. Lower than you. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, what's that? Leviticus 13, verse 30. Don't go nowhere, sister. Come on, read it. Then the priest shall see the plague, and behold. He's being sight. Come on, read it. Read it, 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 read it. Read there be in it a yellow thin hair. And what? A yellow thin hair. The Lord said his yellow thin hair is what? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. You don't have a clean if you've got the yellow thin hair in your head, sister. Come on. There's a dry scowl, even a leprosy upon the head or beard. The Lord said it's a dry scowl, even a leprosy upon the head or beard, man. So when you can't be having these uh, 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 fetishes where it is to put blood hair in the head, because it's leprosy and it's a dry scowl and it makes you unclean, man. 
Now back to the word of the Lord, he's saying good. He doesn't touch up in the system. Right? We're living in the end time. The world will be on the way. Destruction, guns, bombs, all that's coming. Right? Good on. Good in thought. Join me on 30 verse. Um, 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the field of thy body, and in, in the fruit of thy cattle, right. and in the fruit of thy land for good. And this is, this is uh, uh, another account of Deuteronomy 28 and 1, man. Right? And the Lord said, you're going to listen, all these blessings will come upon me, man. Right? I'll give you the, uh, uh, the book of Deuteronomy. Where the Gucci hat with a Matthew Gucci bus? Come in the world of us. Two minutes. See that? You jump on the bus with the Gucci advertisement and you put on the Gucci hat. <laughs> oh my yeah, do that. Like, sister, come in the world of God, sister, two minutes. Two minutes in the world of God, you're Come on, sister, put your head up. Put your head down, put your head up. Your princess, right? Keep the commandments. Right? Love the most high with your heart, mind, and soul. Hey, love your brethren. The Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou, if, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments. To keep his what? To keep his commandments. What do we have to do as Israelites? To keep his commandments. The Lord said we have to keep his commandments. Brother, we that uh that. Come in the word of God, brother, two minutes. Give the phone a, a break, brother. Come on. Huh? Hey, start, hey. And the statutes which are no, and the statutes which are written in the, in this book. Right. The statutes which are written in this book, man. Right. The statutes are in the book. Uh, uh, the commandments are in the book. And if you don't listen to the commandments, all manner of hell will come upon you, man. We're living in the last days. World War Three is on the way. Right. That should be my uh, uh, my song that I go to, man. World War Three is on the way. Let's keep saying it. Come on. Thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. For this commandment which I command you this day is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Right, so these commandments are not hidden. They can't say, oh, I never had a chance to read it. I didn't see no one. No one told me about it. It's not far off. You can get to it. Everyone's got a Bible in the house. Everyone's got the internet. A lot of people see these uh, pop-ups or recommendations, the algorithm of someone in the street saying, believe the word of God. They see the video, right, they right. choose to ignore it. Right, come on. Verse 11, for this commandment which I command you this day is not hidden from thee, neither is it far off. Right. It is not in heaven that thou shouldest say. Read that again, read that again, read that again. Now, now the Lord is talking, it's talking. He's saying the commandments are not in heaven. Like, it's not somewhere far, we can't see it. You can see the commandments, you can read it, come on. It is not in heaven that thou should have saved. Who right. shall go up? Sister's sick, man. She's the devil. She's sick. Right? She doesn't understand she has to keep with her own race. You love your own people. Right? You don't separate, you don't separate from your own people and go to another people and feel like it's going to be better. Your sister's sick. Right? And some, some of your people trying to help, man. Right. You just got to leave them to destruction, man. They just got to die of that knowledge and come back in the kitchen as a baby, man. And be free of that, man. I'm not the devil, I'm not the devil, I'm not the devil, I'm not the devil. I'm not the devil. Let me get over to Deuteronomy 7 and 8. Brother, brother, you're the devil. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm not the devil. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Without our holy truth, the devil, Lord thy God. Brother, brother, I am not the devil. Without our holy people, the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God, I am not the chosen thee. To be a special Where people, say, 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 say. for the Lord, for thou are holy people, for the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God, for chosen me, to be a special people, unto himself, brother, 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 read that again, read that again, read that again. Listen, read that again. I am not the devil. Listen, 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 listen. 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 You are speaking hate, hey, right? So you shut you up, up right? Yeah, yeah. So fuck you guys, right? So we are one so people, right? I love my right? wife, right? I love my wife. We are all the same. No, no people, right? Fuck you, no. 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 Fu
Because you know it's the truth, man. The Lord said you should know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Control me, 14 in the two king. Control me, 14. Uh, hold up, two minutes in the world. Uh, hear this, hear this. Control me, 14 right? verse 2. Because the, only the Bible can do this. No other book can do this. The Lord said, don't mix your seed with another nation's seed. That's it. There's no long story. There's no going around the whole world. I made nothing to do this. Listen, you stay with your own people. You stay with my tables. You don't mix your seed with another nation's seed. Another nation's womb, come on. Rodney, 14 verse 2. Right. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right, come on. And the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself. Right. Above all the nations. Above who? Above all the nations. Now, but it's alright, some of them are okay. Above all the nations. About, that's done away with. Above all the nations. A lot of people getting destroyed was a long time ago. Above all the nations. The Lord said we're above all these nations. So you don't mix with them. You stay with your own people and love your own people. You have to put away the strictness of pump banging and all that rubbish. Right? Right? You got to put away the strictness. We have enemies that don't like us, man. And you think it's okay to make marriages with our women. Sister, what do you think about the sort of white woman and man laying down the sort of black woman? Is that a good thing or bad thing? The Bible says it's a bad thing. You don't make this marriage to the nation. You make love your own people. Right? And these are the things that you've got to realise, man. It's high time for our people to wake up uh, sleep, man, and to love the Lord with all your heart, man, and soul, and love your brethren as yourself, man. That's what it's all. Your mate. See that? But anyway, um, we've got the army fatigue on, we've got the green. Hey, listen, it's high time for our people to wake up, man. World War Three's on the way, your brother. Yes, we've got two minutes for the word of God. One scripture. Let me read no, one no, scripture. Read something, brother. You see that? Sister, you remember us from last time? You don't remember us? Go on, read that. The minute was sustainable. Deuteron- no, yeah, Deuteronomy 14 verse 3. And he went, for, hey, listen, listen, Salakia. You know what to stop? Actually, read the, read the word of God. I'm going to tell you what that devil did before. Read that. I'm going to tell you what he did. Go on. Deuteronomy 14 verse 2. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord, and the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people. Unto himself. The Lord said the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are peculiar people unto himself. Come on. Above all the nations. Above who? Above all the nations. No, but it's okay to mix with them. Above all the, the nations. We're above everyone. Your brother on the mat. Now, uh, come in the word of God, brother. Two minutes. 
see that? My people don't believe we're above the nation. They don't believe it. So let me say my point now. Right? If you want your point, say your point, brother. The, the man said God's love, but then said F us. <laughs> You're probably the truth to where God. You want to take a plan? You have to wake up me. Right? Hey. So the problem went from saying, or the, the devil went from saying that we're, we're one people, we should love one people, but then went to saying F us. Then we're saying you lot are, 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 are hate group. God's a love, God's love. Let me get the book of, uh, 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 let me get Psalms chapter 2, verse 1. Psalms 2, verse 1. Any precept you've got to bring them out to you. They've been waiting for me to get to bring them out. When them people come out, that's when you just cut them with the word of God. Just cut them, right? Take them tell them to take a step back, yeah? But then cut them with the word of God, because the Lord's going to fight for us, man. Yeah? Pure confusion coming up. Psalms 2 verse 1. Why did the heathen rage? Why the what? Why did the heathen rage? The perfect scripture for that devil, man. Why did the heathen rage? Why are you getting angry for? Because we're showing you the truth. We're showing you what's going on. And our sister that's sick. Because remember, that's the man that come out that time acting weird, you know. That's him. He thinks I forgot. That's why. And then guess what? His friends got a Eve as well. This is the Eve. So they're both into trying to take our women. That's not for our man up, you know. Right? Love our women and at the same time love our brethren, man. Because our sisters seem to think that it's better on the other side. But I show them it's not by keeping the commandments. Right? It's not vital to us. She says she don't care about us, her ancestors. She says she don't care about them. She don't care, that's a long time ago. Yeah. Now sick you got me to say that. That's back there, isn't it? She said it back there. Right? Push the guy back and say, take a step back, mate. Get up in his Facebook. Get up in my Facebook. What do you need a sign for? Right? He spoke to you already. Got an evil spirit, man. I mean, we told him he's a devil last time. Right? Come up with some weird spirit that time. When he's trying to teach his sister. Your auntie, come in the word of God, auntie, two minutes. Or take a flyer at least. Take a flyer, auntie. Take a flyer, auntie. We're living in the last days. Right? Read that again. Oh, you come with the word of God, Auntie, one minute. Yeah. Psalms 2 verse 1. Woo. Why did the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The Lord said, why did the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. The Lord will put a hand on us and say, what are you doing? say, but the moment he tries that, the moment he'll be surely disappointed by the word of Yahweh Basham, and Hashem Yahushan. He will fight for us, man. Come on. That's right? it. Read it again. Yeah, read it, read it, read it. Psalms 2 verse 1. That's the perfect one for the time. Perfect one. Why did the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Right. Come on. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and right. against the anointed, saying, Let us break the, the bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Right. They want to break away everything from us. They want to break away the unity. They don't want us to own nothing. They want us to depend on every single thing, right? For them. They want us to forget about everything. I'm oh, bad in love, bad in love. The Lord said he hates, man. Bro. Sister, come in the word of God, sister. Give me this. If anyone got time for the word of God, national sister, you've got time for the word of God, sister. Where's your bad now? Come in the word of God, you're ugly. You put a smile in the face. Hold your head up, you're a princess. Right? You have to put on a head wrap and a dress and a skirt, sister. Right? As a daughter of Zion. Right? Right? You shake up the hey, the Lord shake up the whole of Norwood, man. Everyone thinking it's sweet. You see the crowd come round. It's a big crowd, you know. You can see that there, there, there. Oh, there, 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 there. Oh, there, there. Right, we done. He that smith smitted the heaven. He that smiteth exactly. the heaven. Exactly. Come right. on. Exactly. He that smitted the, the heavens. Oh, he that sitteth in the heavens. Come in the word of God. Two minutes in the word of God. Two minutes in the word of God, sister. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. So he that sitteth in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Read that last one. I'm going to look at it one more time. Psalms 2 verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Right? So the Lord's going to destroy all these people, man. The people fighting in Israel, man. None of them are the true inhabitants of the land, man. They're all devils, man. So we give a damn about them, man. Right? So we see a post of a comedian saying, oh, why ain't black people saying anything about Palestine or Israel? That's got nothing to do with us. Let our enemies kill them, 
go from Russia to Ukraine to Israel to Palestine because none of them are anything to do with us, man. Your brother, you've got three minutes to the word of God, brother. Right? None of them got nothing to do with us, man. Right? Read on, okay? Then, then shall he speak unto you. Sister, you believe in God, sister? Sister, you believe in God? You can all pray for your brothers? Wow. I'm sorry. Sorry for helping when the bomb's dropping. When World War III comes. When coronavirus part two comes. Right? Sorry for helping then. Because the world's coming to an end. And guess what? A new world's about to begin. A world for the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God shows them people. Right? Who don't Ox of B. And I shall give thee. He's too busy looking at us, so he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on. Right? Answer me of what? Answer me, and I, and I shall give thee the heathen. And the Lord said, answer me, and I shall give thee the heathen. So you can make prayers for the heathen. Your man is getting in your nerves, or uh, what are you doing a hundred tasks throughout the day, right? What are you working at the stage? You can pray that you have them in the kingdom as a servant, right? right? The Lord said, answer me, how are you going to answer him? By prayer, no? By supplication. Right? Praise him in the name of the Masha Kiyah man. Answer me, I'll give you the heathen, right? Right? I know who I want, man. I want that brother from Mr. Market, man. Or that, that evil from Mr. Market, that your brother. That devil, man, who made threats on our lives, man, who threw stuff, man. That's just one of them. Now, I don't know who this brother is, but who was as a servant of the kingdom. But hey, all these people are going to pay, man. They're going to serve us and serve them. But we're not going to do all the people they do, the black race, the bad cars, right? They're going to serve a thousand years of slavery to them. The pickiness from the earth, right? The black woman. Right? Read up. Inheritance of the uttermost parts of the earth for possession. Like it. Come on, the kingdom of the word of God. The kingdom of the word of God. Yeah. That's what you need. That's what you need. That's what you need. That's what you need. You can't say you've got bad in mind. Say no, you must listen. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Possessing my people. Everyone's had a chance to hear the words of God. So when destruction comes, no one can say, I never heard. No one told me. Our Lord, I prophesied in your name, uh, in your name, crossing our demons. And the Lord said, Apart from me, I never knew thee. Right, you know? Thou shalt shall, shall break them with a rod of iron. Right, as it's written, man, the Lord said, Apart from me, I never knew thee. And the Lord said, We're gonna, What are we going to do? Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. And the Lord said, We're going to break them with a rod of iron, man. Right? Hey, that's a mighty prayer to pray, man. Right? You believe in God? In Brazil? 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 See? They just nod there. They look down on us, you know? They say Moreno. No, no Moreno. Moreno can't TV, no. Uh, a lot of them used to wake up as well. I don't know what. A lot of them used to wake up. Uh, living in the end time, World War III. Man, I keep your phone up, you know, to work. I'm coming to this place. Thou shalt dash them in pieces. Thou shalt what? Thou shalt dash them in pieces. You know, so we're gonna dash them in pieces, right? Imagine walking up somebody and smashing them and then breaking them in pieces. Right? Uh, and, what, and the one thing I know is this as well. We've been there for a long time. A lot of our brothers are making marriages with the Eastern Europeans. A lot of these Polish and Romanian. A lot of them are making marriages, right? These far out Eastern Europeans thinking it's uh, somehow different than, than, than the normal English woman or American woman, right? Be wise now, therefore, ye, O ye kings. The Lord said, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, man. Right? It's high time for people to be wise. We're the kings of the earth, man. We're the gods of kings. Hold up there. Let me get uh, Revelation 5 and 10. Let me get Revelation 5 and 10. Huh? It's high time for people to wake up and sleep, man. Hey, to believe the gospel. He was right, man. Right? Revelation 5 verse 10. Revelation 5 verse 10. And has made us unto our God, king and priest. And the Lord said that we have made, made us unto our God, king and priest. Come on. And we shall reign on the earth. And we're going to what? We shall reign on the earth. And that's what it's going to be called. I'm on the earth. And that's what Christ said. He that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. And the Lord shall reign on the earth, come. Let's go on this week. 
base, man. It's almost three cents on the front. I'm going to go back to the turn. Right? Let go of this evil place, man. Full of vanity. Right? And evil. Right? This place is going to be destroyed. The Lord said he made us gods and kings. The Israelites, the so-called black and Spanish and Native Americans, are the gods and kings of this earth. But guess what? We die like men, man. We broke the commandment. Right? The Lord said he made you gods. I know. Huh? To warn the people, tell the sister she's sick. She need help. Don't right. let the people pass like that. This kid's brother's out. Like, why did he say something? Why did he leave them? I said, warn them. I said, warn them. Right? We're going to fight people. We're showing them their transgressions. We're only out here for the trouble of black, the spanks, and the Americans. God's chosen people. The rest of you are going to live their best lives, man. Right? The death and destruction is coming to you. Right? Sister with a blonde hair. Sister. You know? She's sick. She's sick. She don't know it's a curse to put blood in her head. She don't know she hates herself for putting blood in her head. She wasn't born with the blood. Right? It's a sickness to put blood in her head. You have blood in her head. You're trying to be like someone else. Right, right. You don't want to be yourself. You don't want to grow your natural woolly hair. That's a sickness. Right? And we're going to cry out They're not hard to come in the world of God after two minutes. Or at least take a fire on you. See that? Come on. Where are we at? Let's go. 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 let us go Familiar faces, we're not going to call it no more. Right, right. They've had too much of a chance. Like, right, come on. Deuteronomy 30, verse 11. For this commandment which I command you this day is not hidden from thee, neither there is it far off. Right. It is not in heaven that thou shouldst say, Who shall go up for us to heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? Neither right. is it beyond the sea that thou shouldst say, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it unto us right. that we may hear it and do it. So the word is near to you, man. It's not in heaven. It's not across the sea. It's not nowhere far. Right. The word of God is near. You've got no excuse. Come on. He visit beyond the sea. Auntie, come in the word of God now, Auntie. Two minutes in the word of God. See? Come on. He visit beyond the sea that thou should say, Who shall go over the sea for us and Bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it. So, hey, there's no excuse for not keeping the commandments. We're not searching out the laws, statutes, and commandments. What to do and what not to do. Sister, the purple come in the way of us on the Sabbath day. See, no harm to our own brother. We hate our own people. We hate our own people. We try to keep our own brother. Not even say, oh, no, thank you, okay. We look past that with his mouth going to cheat. That's why we're not meant to have no respect for persons, man. But the word is very nigh unto thee in thy the mouth. The word of God is very nigh unto us, the so-called blacks, the Spanish, and the American. Come up here and say that. Come on. See, but the word is very nigh unto thee in thy mouth and in thy heart, and thou mayest do it. Verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day, life and good. The Lord said, I've set before thee this day, life and good. And death and evil. And death and evil. Pick the life and good, Lord, children of Israel. Pick the life and good. Or pick death and evil then. You've got a choice. The Lord gave you an ultimatum, right? Pick good and life, or pick death and evil. Right, right. Sister in the dream, come me the word of God just for two minutes. Or take a fire. At least take a fire. Take a fire. Read that last thing again. Deuteronomy 30 verse um, 15. See, I set before thee this, this day life and good and death and evil. The Lord set that before us. Man. Right? Life and good. Death and evil. Let me get hold up there. Let me get Deuteronomy 26 and 11. I'm going to jump around a bit. Let me get Deuteronomy 11 and 26 and 11. Let me get Deuteronomy 11 and 26 and 11. Come on. 
Deuteronomy 11 verse 26 Behold, I set before you this day See, the Lord's giving you another ultimatum Right? This is the precept for that Come on A blessing and a curse The Lord said I give you a blessing and a curse A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord A blessing if you obey the commandments of the Lord So that's the good side of it We are good in life, come on Your God Which I command you this day And what else? And a curse And a what? And a curse And the Lord said I put upon you a curse if what? If you will not Obey the commandments of the Lord. Don't obey the commandments of God. The curses come upon you. Simple as that. You got ultimatum. Right? Your brother, come in the word of God, brother. The traps are holding uh, jacket. You see that? I was quick with it, though, innit? I was quick with it. I was quick. I went quick. Alright, ah, cool. So the Lord gave you an ultimatum. Pick the good and life, or death and evil. Pick the blessing or the curse. It's up to you. If you keep. If you pick the good, you're picking the commandments. If you pick the curse. You're choosing to disobey the commandments. It's that simple. Right? I'm not going to worry about this. It's not that simple. Tim? You don't go to university, man. You've got to humble yourself and be like a child. And the Lord will give to you and suck with you, man. Right? Come on. You join me, 30 verse 16. In that I command thee to stay, to love the Lord thy God. What's going on? We're prophesying the downfall of England, America, and France, and Russia, and Ukraine. That's what's going on. We're prophesying, right? For bombs to drop in this place, all manner of evil to come, right? Which is in the word of God, man, right? The nurse is going to bring destruction and evil, right? Whether you like it, understand it, accept it or not, but what is going on? Read that again. Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, no, 16. In that I command thee to stay, to love the Lord thy God, who right. all his ways, Come on. and to keep his commandments. And to what? And to keep his commandments. What did the Lord say? And to keep his commandments. So the Lord said we have to keep his commandments. Come on. And the statutes which I command thee to stay. Uh, hold on, hold on. The Bible's got two minutes for the word of God. It's not working, it's right. You want to take a flyer? No, thank you. Start, read that again. You draw me. Take a look at the Bible. 30 verse 16. In that I command you to stay, to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments, and his statutes, and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply. Woo! Hey, the Lord said you've been given us promises to live and multiply, come on. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land with river thou goest to possess it. Has anyone got two minutes for the word of God? We're living in the last days. Come on. But with thine heart turn away so that thou would not hear what shall be drawn away and worship of a God right. and serve happen? them. What's gonna happen? I denounce unto you this day that you shall surely perish. The Lord says you're gonna surely perish when you worship your phone, your paint, right, your house. Right? Because some people just, they love painting. Right? Some people love uh, uh, carpentry. They love brickwork. They love plumbing. They love their craftsmanship more than the most high. Wake up in the morning, what they're thinking about is evil. Right? Sister, look, keep it to the world of God's stuff. Take a See that? Right. I pull heaven. I pull heaven and what else? I pull heaven and earth to the God to stay. Against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and, and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both thou, both thou and thy seed may live. And the Lord said, Choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Huh? You draw to me, you just repeat it. What happened in Genesis? Hey, what happened in Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers? It's the fifth book of the Torah. Right? In the whole Bible, right? right? Since we're coming to the word of God, sister. We're only out here for our people, but it's so called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Just in case anyone's wondering, right? God's chosen people, man. You are the real Jews who are scattered abroad through the slave trade, through the dispersion, through the wickedness of the so called white man, right? The evilness of him, right? And he has to pay for that when Christ comes back, right? Whether he likes to understand it, accept it or not, right? Come on. I call heaven and earth, I 
for his team. Two minutes for the way they got to stop. Two minutes. Two minutes to stop. See, our people are always in a rush going something. But if it was the heathen now, they have time. And we always say that as well, but it's true, man. So they could put a Z for them. We're going to get that in a minute. Uh, we don't get And death, blessing and curses, therefore, true life that both thou may, thou, and thy seed may live. Life that both Darwin and guys they live, man. Right? What life is real? The time is this place now. Hey, now everyone wants to start uh, uh, getting into uh, uh, prophesying now. Now they see all the evil going on in Israel. You see posts come out of nowhere now. Right. People that are Bible scholars now talking about, yeah, I knew. Sister, you've got two minutes. Two minutes, sister. See that? They were saying, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Hey, no, you didn't, man. Huh? Hey, you just the other day you were watching foolishness, uh, love and hip hop, man. Now you're Bible scholar. Sister, you've got two minutes for the word of God. We're living in the end times. Repent or bury. Let me get three foot in the creek. Hold that there. Anyone got two minutes for the word of God? You want to take a flower to you? Read that. Luke 13, 1 to 3. Luke 13, 1 to 3. You want me to look scared as hell, you know? Read that. Luke 13, verse 3. I tell you nay, but accept your tent, you shall all likewise perish. So the Lord said, I told you no, but accept your tent, you shall all likewise perish. No matter what happens, or what's going to happen, if you don't repent, you're just going to perish. No matter how you perish, you're just going to perish. Right? So let's go back to Deuteronomy uh, 30. Watch a couple more verses in that one. Song of Moses in a minute. Gathering the lost sheep from the house of Israel. This brother might be Israel. No brother! I was in Poland, but over there's a boss. I was talking about the red. Okay. Revelations 5 verse 10 and and have made us unto our God kings and priests and made unto us God kings and priests. So we're the kings and priests. Yeah, you got to get that to see. You understand? Let me get a first Peter 2 and 9. We're going to freestyle a bit. We're going to get straight to the point. Give us about 10 minutes, please. Please, please. Yeah. Hi, man. Wake up, man. Don't 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 and then what? Well, to turn you around, but the other side said, I'm with you in the matter. Well, no, 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 so the Palestine and Israel, that's the right to believe us. They let them kill each other. They're not our 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 people. They're not our people. Read that. Verse Peter two verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a royal what? A royal priesthood. A priest. Come on. A holy nation. A holy nation. A peculiar people. The Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic. A peculiar people that that you shall should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into marvelous light. So let me get the book of Deuteronomy uh, 20 and then let me get uh, Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, you mean, man, tell them the thing in a man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean, it's not enough to just know the truth. A long time you know, they are fighting the thing in a with them in a man. 
time. I don't know the thing, you know, man. Long time. You know, 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 you if you lose, you love your ancestors, you lose, you love your life. There are people there, we don't want them around us. No. When they get killed by the police, we don't care about them. Because no. they hate their own people. Yeah. Right? And they don't send the so-called white woman and white man to kill us. Especially those that don't keep the commandments. We don't keep them. Or so many priests have killed them. Like. Told me 28, because um, 15. Right. But the Papa passed, you know, and he passed away. Yeah. So, you know, he was a good man. Yeah. 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 Y